I may have just purchased the cheapest 2013 Ford Focus in the country. It's been sitting for two years. The guy wanted $2,500 for it. it. Hasn't started in two years. Hasn't done anything in two years. It's really in good shape other than being super dirty. The engine hasn't started. I checked it. Um, I checked the oil in it. There were no leaks or anything on it. Underneath, um, I found a little mouse nest right in there, which I kind of pulled out. I sprayed it all out with a uh, air hose and stuff. And the other thing we couldn't get was the uh, hood latch got stuck. So at the guy's house, um, we had to reach in there. I had his wife reach in there and try to wiggle it free and stuff and then we got the hood open he said the hood hadn't been open for two years but let me just give you a state of the uh like down here everything seems to be nice down here just super dirty but look at the brakes and the brake calipers look at that look at that look how bad they are look at that tire yeah that everything it's just super dirty oh it's got a crack on the windshield across I already priced it out through uh, safe flight auto glass and they wanted 349 to get it fixed which is no problem that's pretty reasonable Ford Focus ST Here, look at those old brake pads and rotors in there I'm gonna get all four new rotors and pads hopefully the calipers are okay on it the back of it here not uh, super dirty super dirty more here's the other tire get in there so you can see it I don't know if the lights very good or not but tires have no tread on them at all well the back ones do actually the Velaza I don't even know what brand they are they've never heard of them before the car's got a hundred thousand miles on it show you the front one here oh, this one's shot too look at that brake caliper in there all right let's do the inside real quick the door it's just really dirty in here like it's moldy it smells a little moldy look at those seeds look at those stains on there but I think I think it'll come out I mean we'll get I'm gonna get the car detailed. I'll have a guy uh, come and um, vacuum all the carpets and they'll get in there and scrub it down with water and really make it good. Like look at the ST right here. Look how that's nasty. Let me just sit in the car real quick. I'll give you a view of the front. Here's a key fob. It came with two key fobs which is good. You know standard ST. It's not the top of the line model. Here's the uh, Gauges in the front. Um, stick shift, you know, Microsoft Sync seems really good. No problems with that. Just really super dirty. Glove box. If you want any Pokemon cards, full of Pokemon cards right here. Yeah, look at this seat. It's the cloth seats, it's not the leather, but it's super dirty. Everything else is good. You got the this opens up right here, no problem. You know, some buttons. I don't know what that, that's the wind, roof, sunglass holder. Let me see. Back over here. Back seat. This is the uh, cover for the trunk back here. Seats are in okay. I mean, look at that mess down there. Oh shit. <laughs> Come on, what's wrong? <laughs> Hold on. So the mechanic just came out and I just kind of told him everything that I wanted to do. So I'm not sure if he wanted to be on camera. I didn't ask him. Just scratch that here. Let me let me uh get the oil. He pointed out the oil. Let me just kind of show you the oil. Oil's pretty bad. Pretty bad turn that super black but do an oil change maybe I'll put some uh, oil cleaner in it you know get the engine going get it moved all throughout let's see 
What else we got over here? Check the back seat, take where you left off. So yeah, the back seat, let me look at this door right here. It's all messed up, all through here. The window is open right here, if you can see that. Right here, so water got into it. You see right here too, look at that. Oh man, look at this owner's manual. Jesus. <clears throat> yeah, that's bad. So I'm gonna take this with me actually. I'm just gonna read that, I think. Yeah, look at the floor. Look at that nasty. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Let me go back to the glove box here. Let's see something. <clears throat> go back over here. The side's not too bad, it just smells so bad. Got in here. Oh, oh, the old registration. All right, we'll keep that. What's this? Haunting place. I don't know. What, that is. what else do I got over here? What is this? Personal check. We don't want to throw that in there. What's we got in here? Oh, OBD2 link. Oh shit! This is nice. This is a jackpot bonus right here. Look at this. Wow. Bluetooth. Thank you, sir. Oh, and the instruction manual. It's always a bonus. What else do we got in here? Winning lotto tickets. What do we got? <laughs> I think I just won a dollar. I won a dollar. One a dollar. Let me see. I'm gonna take this. I don't know what this is. Take that. We'll take that. Oh, let me check this here. Center console. Let me see. Oh, he emptied it all out. So, I mean, standard Ford stuff. 12 volt battery charger. It's all nasty. I'm definitely gonna get a guy to uh, do a detail on this. It's pretty bad. Look, all right here. It's all nasty. Nasty, push the start. Yeah, I think I'll just pull the seats out. Get in there and get that fixed up. Here's the back. I haven't been able to pop the trunk. Let me pop the trunk here, see if we can get that. Let me take that. Let's throw this over here. What do we got? Let me come back over here. Where is the trunk release? Where is the trunk release? I thought there was a manual trunk release, but I don't see one. Maybe you guys can uh, put in the comments where the trunk release is. I thought it would be uh, like, you know, next to the seat or something right through here. Interesting. Interesting. Oh. Can't even do that. All right, well, we'll check it after. Once we get power to it, we have no power to it at all. Let's mm -hmm. so get this back open. Nope, that's stuck. All right, well, that's it for now. Let me show you up top. Perfect. Dirty, dirty. All right, that's it. I'll give you some more updates later.